Anyway, so I, I got a view of the falls, both of them. I was, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a video. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to post it on my, uh, my Instagram stories there. And this is what kills me. Like, this is, this is like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And as great as it is, all that footage people were taking from the sphere in Las Vegas. Like, I, that was one of the most unbelievable fucking things I've ever seen in my life. And it's not even real, but it is real. But what they're, what they're projecting isn't really there, but it's there, but it's not what you're seeing. But you're seeing it, you know what I mean? I mean, the shit was so fucking unbelievable. They turned U2, one of the biggest bands of the last 40 years, they were like some wedding band playing over in the corner that no one's listening to. You know any Ed Sheeran? You know, that's like... <laughs> Is he the son of the guy from Simply Red? I think the math works on that. They got to be cousins or something. Both incredible singers. You know, beautiful voices. I can't believe I, I, I was just such a fucking asshole growing up when I was listening to metal. When I heard, like, Simply Red, when I heard him sing that song, Lady in Red. I know that's not him. Whatever he was singing. Whatever the fucking song he was singing. I'll keep holding on, right? I was like, this song is slow and makes me feel feelings I'm not comfortable with. This guy's gay. I'm not listening to this. It was so stupid. Now I listen back to him. Like, this guy's one of the best fucking voices I've ever heard. Well, Billy Homophobe when he was young. Um, it was what it really was, was like, if I play this song in my car, I'm going to get the shit kicked out of me when I get out of it. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Massachusetts was an angry place. As opposed to what, Bill? Is it nice now? I don't know. So anyway, I'm fucking watching this fucking video that these kids, these goddamn kids with their fucking phones. And it's like the, the level of overstimulation I think if you went to that concert, if you saw Niagara Falls, you'd be like, eh, you know, how come there's not other shit being projected in the sky while I look at Niagara Falls? How come I can't watch, like, how come I can't travel through the fucking universe? I mean, like, once you see a concert there, you're fucked. Like the, I, I, the footage of some of the stuff that they were projecting and it just goes completely all the way over you. Like, do you realize the level of drugs we had to do to see half of that shit at the Worcester Centrum back in the day? That's what killed me about the footage. The footage had nothing to do with U2. That could have been a U2 cover band. I wonder what, I would love to hear what they're thinking. I mean, they're such a business at this point. They'd probably be like, you know, it's fantastic. It's just adding another layer to the fucking, we're peeling another layer off the onion. You know, backstage, they got to be going like, you know, whatever they fucking say over there. Oi. <laughs> Roy, that's the end of us. <laughs> Who gives a fuck now? Nobody cares. I don't want to, you're, I'm just going to see you like one of the great bands of the last 40 years. I'm just going to see you. That's all there is. I don't get to fucking sit there on mushrooms and have an eagle fly off of the ceiling, sit down next to me, put its feathered wing around me and start talking to me about why America's great before I take it by its non-existent hand and I start flying over the band I'd love, to, I, I, if I live long enough, I can't wait to hear this generation talking down to the next generation. Like, this isn't a concert, man. Back when I, you know, when I went to a concert, you know, it was just you, the band, and the entire history of the world experienced in first-person vision flying over your head. We didn't have an AI robot blowing us while it was fucking <laughs> growing mushrooms in a compartment on its back that you could continue taking. You kids are spoiled today. Um, yeah, I feel like that they're building another sphere because now everybody has to try and compete with that. And I feel like, well, maybe not. Maybe it'll be like IMAX. People still go to movies, sort of. Um, I don't know. I never thought I would see something that would, could possibly make people think that Red Rocks was only okay. 
I like to think that people will still think those places are off. That's the place you got to go. Dude, fuck the sphere. All right? That's going to be there forever. And it's going to get old really quick, really quick cooking out there in the desert. You know? It's kind of like that big stupid TV that they have in, at, at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Like, when are they just going to admit that that was the dumbest idea? It was just the stupidest fucking idea. It was, really was Dallas. You know? It's the biggest fucking TV there's ever been. I'll tell you what, my wife's got the biggest titties, too. She didn't have them at the beginning of the relationship, you know what I mean? I'm taking care of her. I got her them nice titties, too, that hang real nice, you know what I mean? You know what it is, it's her own body fat. I had it sucked out of her belly, you know? She went to too many pig pickings. And I said, take it out of there and stick it in there, right? And is there any way you could, you know, make her mouth only open if it's going around my dick? Because I'm really sick of her opinions. That's why I've been married three times. Um, I used to tease them at the Dallas Improv saying, like, you realize, that okay, that TV's cool now, but in seven years, you're going to have the biggest old fucking TV that no one gives a shit about. <laughs> they must have done something where they can keep updating it. But um, I guess I understand why. I actually don't understand why they did it because it's the most distracting thing I've ever seen. And if you sit in the upper deck, you're not even going to watch the, you're just going to sit there watching the fucking TV. So then it becomes, why did I go to this? And that's also like, when I look at the sphere, it's like, I can just put on you, uh, you two on my phone, play it through a speaker and I can take a nice handful of mushrooms and have the same fucking experience. Because I really feel like when you, I don't know, maybe I got to go to a show there, but it was, it was like U2 wasn't even there. They were like an afterthought, you know? How can you listen to Bono talking about how he knows how to save the world, you know, if you're too busy flying over the fucking Andorondacks, you know, from there to Abu Dhabi <laughs> while you're on mushrooms? Was Bono up there like, Roy, hey, just checking in with the band. <laughs> Don't know if you ever heard of us. Um, you know what sucks is uh, I have no desire to go to that thing. And I, but I know I'm going to end up there because I love my wife. And she's totally into stuff like that. Like, oh, it's going to be fuck. It was fucking amazing. It was so cool. And then I'm going to shit on it. And then she's just going to look at me and be like, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why can't you just enjoy things? It's like, I do enjoy things. I just don't enjoy things like this, you know? And then the logic of that is not going to hook up with their female brain. And then the emotion of what she's t talking about is not going to hook up with my fucking logical brain. Then it'll be awkward. And then I'll say, I'm sorry. And she'll say, okay. And then we'll go over to Roy Choice. Like, that's what's going to fucking happen. But did you notice in that story, at no point did I ever even bring up what band we're going to go see? Because I don't think it matters probably see some early 90s hip-hop R&B artist. You know, that's Nia's wheelhouse. That's her hair metal. Stiff Sister with Voices, Al DeBarge. <laughs> um, in Vogue, Boys to Men, Usher, Jodeci? I don't know. I can't, I, I know all that music. I can't name any of those songs, but I, I've been with... My lovely wife, who I miss terribly out here for almost 20 years. So I've heard all of that music 